Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to work out the distance between the origin to the plane. Okay, so here goes. So let me title this distance between the origin uh, and a plane. Or you could say distance from the origin to the plane. So let me take a red pen and a ruler, underline that, okay? So supposing if we have a plane, like so, where this is the origin, O. So I'm going to show you how to work out the distance, D, from the origin to the plane itself. So I'll use small d to represent the distance from the origin to the plane. Okay? So let me give the results. So the distance small d from the origin to the plane. And to calculate small d, it's the absolute of P, the scalar, over the modulus of the normal vector to the plane N. Okay, so remember the equation of the plane will be of the form R dot N is equal to capital P. Okay, so P is the scalar on the right hand side of that scalar product equation. Okay, and N is the normal vector of the plane. Okay, so that is where n comes from. Okay, so this is the formula in order to work out the distance from the origin to the plane itself. Okay, let me try an example. So let me show you how this is uh, applied. So, um, in example number one, take a red pen, underline that. So let's find the distance from the origin to the plane with equation. So the equation of the plane uh, is given by r dot normal vector is 2i plus j minus k and that is equal to 13. Okay, so let me show you how this result uh, works. So, as you can see, looking at the formula, it depends on P, the scalar on the right hand side, so the scalar is 13 in this example, and it's dependent on the normal vector n, and our normal vector in our question is 2i plus j minus k, okay? So in this case, what I would do is, in my step one, let's firstly work out the modulus of n, okay? So normal vector n, that is 2i plus j minus k. Let's work out the modulus of n. So it's a square root of coefficient of i in n is 2, so 2 squared, plus the coefficient of j in the normal vector is plus 1, so plus 1 squared, plus coefficient of k in the normal vector is minus 1, minus 1 squared. So simplifying further, 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, minus 1 squared also 1. So I'm going to leave it as square root of 6. Okay? So step number 1, work out the modulus of n. And now you have the data that you need to work out d, the distance from the origin to the plane, because p you have already, it's 13. Okay? So in this case, Last step, step number two, using D that is equal to, so let me find my ruler, absolute of P over modulus of N. 
So when I substitute the results that we have, P is 13. Okay, so we have 13 for P. So 13 divided by the modulus of N we had root 6 from before. Okay, so you can rationalize this. So if you multiply the numerator and denominator by root 6, you're going to end up with 13 root 6 over 6. Okay, so that is the distance from the origin to the plane D. So here are the steps in order to work out that distance. So it's a quick process, okay, depending on your question. So depending on whether you have the equation of the plane given, maybe you need to work out the equation of the plane in, in a previous part of the problem. And then once you know that equation, you can carry out these steps to work out the distance from the origin to the plane, maybe for the next part of the problem. Okay, let me do one more. So example number two, let me take a red pen and a ruler and underline this. Supposing we have the Cartesian equation of the plane. So supposing we have, for example, say, if we had um, 3x minus y uh, plus 2z is equal to 17. So supposing we had the plane in Cartesian form, okay? And the question is the same, to work out the distance from the origin to the plane, okay? Now, in order to get, so in order to use the formula, we need the normal vector. Now that is quite simple. If you have the Cartesian equation, the coefficients of x, y, and z, these will give you the components or for the normal vector. So the coefficient of x is the i component, so it will be 3i. Coefficient of y is the j component, so it's minus j. Coefficient of z is the k component, so 2k. Okay. So when it comes to the calculation for the normal vector n, coefficient of x is 3, so 3i. Coefficient of y is minus 1, so minus 1j. Coefficient of z is 2, so plus 2k. So that is the normal vector, okay? And then using the normal vector, you can continue with the process in order to work out the distance d from the origin to the plane, okay? So let's continue. So we need the modulus of n, so it's the square root of coefficient of i is 3, so 3 squared, plus coefficient of j minus 1, minus 1 squared, plus coefficient of k 2, 2 squared. Okay. So, further to that, 3 squared is 9, minus 1 squared plus 1, 2 squared 4. So, I'm going to leave it as a root, I'll leave it as root 14. Okay? So, that is step number 1, the modulus of n. So, in the last step, use the formula to work out the distance from the origin. Okay? So remember the formula, D is the absolute of P over the modulus of N. So let's use that formula. So using D that is equal to the absolute P over the modulus of N. So if we substitute the results that we have, remember P from the Cartesian equation is 17 on the right hand side. So it's going to be 17 divided by the modulus of n, answer of step 1, root 14. And if I rationalise this, so if I multiply the numerator and denominator by root 14, I'll have 17 
root 14 over 14. So I'm going to leave my answer like this. Okay. So that completes this example and here are the steps again. So it's just a quick process. So that ends this video also. I hope you found this video helpful. Do related practice questions and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.